turn it over one. Pardon the glasses, I'm going to read some stuff in a minute. I know I'm incognito. I'm a down though. But what I can do is throw out some tips for you. Because people are going through it right now. They're going through the dark night. And the, the world's breaking down. And if it hasn't happened yet, it's going to. And this may be helpful to you in the future. Things that I've used in my last nine months to help me get through this, okay? Get help from the government if you can. If you can get some grants, loans, unemployment, whatever you can get, get it. I'm telling you right now, food stamps, it don't matter. Don't Shame has nothing to do with this. They shut down the world, baby. When they shut down the world, they, they threw everything into chaos. And it's still limping back to me. But you're not going to hear that. So this is for you. Just for you. First of all, love yourself. Find things that you love. Whether it's food, comfort food, you always want to have that constantly. For me, it was Big Macs. I was really digging the Big Macs, and it kept me sane when I was on the road just running. And sometimes I would live off of, you know, protein bars and Fritos and beef jerky. And so, which is not a good idea. It's, it's okay to have all those things, but at the same time, you have to have fruit and vegetables and all these other. And I take vitamins. I usually just take gummy vitamins. So that's important. And if I go over it again, pardon me, this is important though. This is how you get through the dark night of soul. And you're going to go through it. If you're, if you're listening to this and you've been in pain and you're going through it, and you're going to go, you're going to get down on yourself. You're going to be um, down and out. And all the people you expected to help you, thought you'd help you, are going to let you down. That's Karen's fucking key. So what you need to do is work on yourself, love yourself, and get tips from me on how to get the hell out of it. So, also find a mobile vehicle that you can lay down in. And if you can't, rip out the seats. I've always talked about this. If it's just you or two people, the you know, if the more people, the bigger the vehicle. Please, if you have children, try to get a mobile. It's just the way it is. It's important. They want, you want to have some kind of semblance of comfort. So, oh uh, yeah, and you know, fetal position is not comfort. You gotta be able to stretch out and breathe. So that's important. You always want to check the fluids. You want to register it. You want to get all these things. Insure it. You, these are important. You get cheap insurance. It don't matter. Just so you don't get messed with by the authorities. You don't want to be paying fines. You always go to the speed limit. Never speed. It saves you. Trust me. You don't want to speed. It just wears and tears on your vehicle, especially if it's your home. So you always want to talk about um. What else? Let's see, food. Well, before we get to the food, I just wrote some stuff down. Get a fire pit, a portable one, and use it so you can cook with wood because you're not always going to have propane. You never know. If you're in the woods and you're chopping up stuff, you're going to need uh, something to cook with. And I have that tripod with the grill. That works too. That's good. Get tarps. Tarps are great for shade. You're not always going to have it, especially if you're in the desert environment. Get some poles that are, you know, decent size and weight, and then you want to get some rope and, you know, stakes and all that stuff. But it, the stakes, you can pound those in with the hatchet. And most hatches, I'll get to that in a minute, they have a flat head like mine, and you can still pound down a stake, so you're fine using the hatchet. We'll get to that in a minute. Then food, you want high protein. Um, always just, um, what the hell? See, sometimes uh, dried fruit, you know, nuts. High protein stuff, some people like jerky. You know, some people don't. You can get faux jerky, whatever. You want a Coleman heater, a lot of times they just have, you can just use a single Coleman. Those are important for when it's like freezing. If it's snowing outside, you can use those to just kind of keep you warm, but you also have to ventilate because it's a uh, propane. Anyway, or electric, you gotta be careful because you don't want it to drain your battery, etc. So portable generators, you can plug into your cigarette lighter is always good because those will charge up while you're driving and you can use those. Anyway, that's important too. Books, music, these are things while you're by yourself, when you're in between cries, whatever you're gonna do. Um, CDs, I have CDs for my, my car, but you, I only listen to them when I'm driving, if I decide to, because it'll wear out my battery, apparently. I found that the hard way. <clears throat> so I, I have an old radio that has batteries. It's old school, but that's important, because wherever you are, like wherever I was in whatever state, there was always local radio stations that I could listen to for free, and it was I didn't have to worry about my car, you know, battery being dead. 
So yeah, um, Bluetooth speaker, whatever for your phone if you want to listen to. I listen to 105.5 The River on online. It's a uh, Modesto. I grew up there for like four years, so it's kind of like a hometown. But um, anyway, moving on. As you're in your travels, you're gonna come across BLM. I'll get to that in a second, but I also want to talk about showers. You know, pooping, about using the bathroom. It's important. If you have to use a big jug to pee in, and then you know, dispose of it when you can. Hey, no shame in your game, right? Showers are important. Um, I have a, a sprayer that I use. It's ba buy one brand new. Don't use it. Use a sprayer, and that'll work actually great for a, a, just a suds you down and hose you off. It's you know, basic survival. <clears throat> anyway, and you could always a lot of RV places that I went to would allow you to pay for just a shower like from seven to ten bucks I don't know but if it's really worth it to you a hot shower you can you know what I mean go for it and truck stops do the same a lot of times they're, they vary about ten bucks whatever <coughs> excuse me and you want to do laundry laundry is important um, laundry mats are everywhere that's one thing it's a blessing especially now that everything's back open sorry anyway so yeah yeah always laundry Always keep your ass clean, sorry. Sleeping bags, etc. <clears throat> and sleeping bags are important. Get at least two or three. And I, I had pet bedding, but it started to get moldy, so I threw it out. So I need to get some new bedding. Just had some foam that I laid underneath my bed. And it does make a difference. So I need to get one of those as soon as I get money. But um, BLM, excuse me, BLM camping is free camping. It's your land. You can stay there for 14 days. Sometimes they label it as recreation areas, but it's the same thing. And for RVs or OHUV or whatever, so off-road vehicles can run around. You can still park there and camp. It don't matter as long as you're not like shitting all over the place or whatever. That's important too. And like um, Alabama Hills, sorry about the smacking. Alabama Hills is a great place, a great example of a county that, or a city that took care of it. They had they have porta potties all over the place, so people can crap there instead of all over in the rocks. So it stays beautiful and not smelly like poop. That's important. I already went over the canned food, the rice, pasta, jerky stuff. Okay. Clean as you go on the Recreation BLM camping. Um, <laughs> only use premium gas in your car. Only use premium gas. It'll save you. Mechanical. It cleans your engine as you go. I've been run, I've been using that for girls since we started, and she's I love her. So plastic baggies. Use them to put your when you're chopping up, you know, food. You know, want to divide it up and put it in your cooler or you know your Clean up poop, I don't know. do what you gotta do. They're always, you know, valuable. And heavy Tupperware plus aluminum foil, but heavy Tupperware for papers and whatever kind of stuff to keep it from being all moisture, you know, get damaged like that. So um, it's important, tools, good hatchet, go to the hardware store, don't go to, don't go to Walmart for a hatchet. Those metal ones, they'll just get bent up and they're just shit, so trust me. Get a real hatchet with wood and metal and you get it at the hardware store. And the longer the handle, the better. I'm just saying. Sometimes they're too awkward for some people. But yeah. And to get them all. Because those will bust up around. Those are important too. They're basically a sledgehammer with axe end. I got one of those. Those things are wicked. And you also have a twin blade axe. It's a heavy one like a lumberjack. Those are important too. for just You can chop down a tree with that thing. Trust me. I've done it. Um, get a knife. A sturdy one. Get sharpeners for the knife. You can get utensils for eating and all that stuff too. And tents are important. Buy a tarp just for the tent because you want to put the tarp underneath the tent. A lot of a lot of state parks won't let you camp there without a tent. So you can put down a tent and just sleep in your vehicle. Don't matter. As long as you have the tent up. Yeah, it's stupid rules. But anyway. Um, anywho, what else? Gun is... Gun is just... I, I don't... I'm not a big fan. But at the same time, I think it's important to be able to defend yourself because there's bad people in the world. Not everybody works for the light. Remember that. So... You know, if you're gonna get one, make sure you talk to the people that buy it from you. Get the right ammo. Get the, don't get too powerful ammo. It blows up the gun if the gun's inexpensive. You gotta be careful with all that. Get certified if you can. That way you're not you know you shoot it before you really take it with you anywhere, so you feel more comfortable. It's important. Just throwing that out there. Anywho, but is there anything I'm leaving out? Um, my experience is it's gonna it's gonna be rough. I'm done reading. It sucks. Okay, every one of my videos up until this point is, is something for you to learn from. It's, it's a, it was a progression of my movement. A lot of them are on Facebook. The, the very beginning when I was first up in um, um, Cape Disappointment and 
all those places. Those are on Facebook, at, and it's just Robert Keith. But um, this is this is different. I, I gave up on Facebook because they kept blocking my videos. So I, I mean, it would take. I told you I wear out my battery trying to download a, a five minute video or two minutes. So I gave up on Facebook. So I'm just doing the Hopeful Wanderer and, and maybe not for a while anyways. I don't know. This is just important for people that are going through the dark night. And you're not alone. A lot of people are going through it. You're going to run across a lot of people going through different phases. Don't be envious of the ones that are looking good and feeling good like I suffered. I am a unique um, story and the fact that I've been suffering for about 10 years already, I mean, I mine was a long one in the slow process. And I learned to live off of nothing for a long time. I was in bread lines. I, my shame went out the fucking window. I was literally, I was painting. I was, I was, my soul was broken, my heart was broken, and I was just trying to survive. And I would paint, and I stayed in my little apartment, and I lived off of nothing, and I, I didn't care about not having money, but at the same time, I, I'd, I'd go to food lines and get bread, be thankful I had bread. See that? It was pretty bad, but I've lived through it. I understand how you can't, you got to learn to live in a world where you might have to stand in a bread line with some people that you normally wouldn't associate with and get over that whole ego. Ego death is important too. You're going to go through an ego death because the ego don't want nothing to do with that low part. They just want you when you're high up on the hill with money. That's when the ego wants to show up and run the, run the roost. But when you're lowing down, they don't give a shit. They're, you won't hear nothing because they ain't going to take responsibility for that. So, love yourself. Remember, ego death is good. Humility is good. Because it helps you be more empathetic. So, no matter what position you were born in, all of us can be broken down. It's the basics. We have to learn to love again. You learn yourself, love yourself, learn to love humanity, other people. No matter how bad you've been hurt, that's all part of the healing process. And I've learned to love myself to the point where I can't be hurt anymore. And I want everybody to feel that. No matter what happens, whether you're broke on the side of the road or you're rolling, you're going to be helping others. You're going to be giving back. You're going to be loving. You're going to be in the light. And that's part of it. If you can go through the fire and, st and just crawl through it and survive and still see the good, you're a magic. And people are going to see it and they're going to glow and they're going to love you and they're going to love themselves and it's going to spread and it's going to be the age of Aquarius, baby. So... Stick with it. You're not alone. I love you. The universe loves you. God loves you. And your angels love you. So just know that and be strong for me and I'll be strong for you, okay? And despite all the distractions, live in life, okay? Have a wonderful day.